Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear listeners, you um We have from 10 to 11, we have a program about peace. Here to talk peace. And uh, as usual, I'm not going to talk peace. This company is um, a special company. I have special guests in the studio, in the studios, and uh, online, live from Turkey. We have uh, a very special guest who has joined us, and um, I'm going to introduce him after introducing Doctor. Can you? Thank you very much. Thank you much. Yes. Um, uh, I. Uh, I uh, Once again, I, I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is my name is Dr. Muhammad Jihad Gündoğan, Muslim doctor. I am one of the students of Mr. Haru Yahya. You know Haru Yahya, Mr. His real name is Adnan Oktar. That is the person I was going to to introduce to the. I would like to say that you are speaking on behalf of yes. Dr. Harun Yahya. Yes, that's Harun right. Harun Yahya is, uh, uh, briefly about him, he is uh, uh, a scholar, Muslim scholar. Yes. Who has uh, authored more than 300 books. Yes, that's right. Yes, He's a Muslim right. scholar yeah, and he well known throughout yeah, the world. He works at table in uh, over 63 languages. Yes. And uh, they have been downloaded by nearly 150 million people since uh, 2009. Over early, 150 early years, yes, million people have downloaded his work. And of course, he has featured in international media like uh, Reuters. They, 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 they did a poll and they found out that he was the most influential Muslim in the world, according to Reuters. They did their own poll and they Two million people voted Harun Yahya, who was also called um, Adnan Okta, mm -hmm. brother Adnan Okta. Mm -hmm. Two million people said this man is the most influential Muslim in the, uh, Muslim in the world. And um, BBC also talked about him, you know, about his ideas of uh, Darwin's uh, dangerous idea. BBC says he is an increasingly influential figure in creationism. Mm -hmm. That is what BBC talks about him. Then uh, U.S. Science Magazine, very influential. They said that um, they wrote an article in 2008 saying that uh, um, at the present time, Harun Yahya is the loudest voice in the debate of uh, evolution in the Islamic world. The loudest voice. So you can imagine. <laughs> These guys don't don't give you credit for nothing. For me, as far as the, I, I I know the Western media, you. <laughs> What you get, you really deserve it. So that is what they have talked about him. So, Doctor, you can begin from there, please. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, he is mostly yes. well known for his well work for called his work The Atlas of Creation, Atlas of creation. which is recently, mm. which is recently uh, in the previous mm. two or three years, mm. was recently yes. distributed mm. for 100,000 copies distributed mm. in the Western world, in the Western world. Uh, mm. even in US, even UK, in US, France. UK. Uh, Belgium, mm. many countries in Europe. Countries in Europe. Uh, mm. What he's trying to do is to eradicate the source of all evil that mm. is standing against religion, against uh, belief in Allah. That is Darwinism. That is the source of all terrorism, all the conflicts in between people, in between nations, in between countries. That is caused when we get into the roots of all those conflicts we see we detect that there is darwinism which which uh, seeds hatred in between people 
because mm -hmm. as you all know, you all know uh, it is, it is uh, according to Darwin there was a ruthless struggle for survival and eternal conflict in nature so the strong always overcome the weak and this enables development to take place so these ideas were applied to, into social sciences and societies and individual life under the name of social Darwinism. Darwinism caused communism to appear materially all inseparable parts of a single whole. So since Darwinism regards human beings as aimless animals, it leads people... Hello? Do you hear me? Uh, move around and then speak again. Yes. Uh, yes. Since okay. Darwinism okay. regards Darwinism human regards beings as aimless animals, aimless it leads animals. people to adopt people to this adopt perspective in the direction of, the direction of rebellion, 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 conflict, rebellion, anarchy, anarchy lawlessness, lawlessness, selfishness, and immorality. And, immorality. Mm -hmm. and people when they are raised under this Darwinist indoctrination, it turns, away, it turns them away from the values that make human beings human and suggest that life is a battleground. It makes them attach no importance to the family, any religious moral values, and virtue. And this way, they are quite capable of turning towards any heretical ideology of movement. So movements based on Darwinism were responsible for wars, acts of terrorism, mass slaughter, genocides in the last century that we all experienced in the world. Darwinism... Okay, yes. I, I have a question now, and uh, I have three brothers in the studio. They also, I'm sure they're also going to have questions to ask you in the happiness that we have with you. But uh, my question is, uh, you know, Dr. Brother Yahya, Arun Yahya, has, uh, yes. I, I, I'm sure with you together, you have traveled around the world, and uh, you have uh, given many lectures mm -hmm. on creationism. Yes. I would like to know how influential or oh, how, how the impact that these lectures have had on the world, the impact of the lectures of, Dr. of Brother Harun Yahya. Yes, uh, thanks to his works, uh, his great effort uh, on the, showing the debunk of Darwinism in face of the scientific facts from the field of any field of science. Uh, he, his works, thanks to his works, he gets lots of invitations from different parts of the world, from different universities in U.S., in U.K., in different uh, universities from uh, Europe. Uh, or even in uh, Japan, Malaysia, Indonesia, lots of countries. So as his representatives, we go to those lectures, we go to those universities and give lectures on behalf of him. So we show people the reality uh, the, uh, from the scientific findings is, is the fact of creation. The existence of Allah is there for real. It's a scientific fact. There is no such nonsense as Darwinism or the theory of evolution. It's just uh, the way that uh, it is the source of all evil to deviate people from religion. It's an ideology based on uh, evilness, selfishness, and has nothing to do with science itself. It's just against the scientific findings which prove that there is the existence of Allah for real. So okay. we spread the truth of Islam, we show people that uh, there is faith in Allah and science is on our side. Science and religion are not in contradiction with each other, but they science proves that there is Allah. Okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. Now, the second question um, uh, is uh, about uh, the, the terrorist attacks. As you remember, 2001, uh, September 11, terrorist attack. Okay, uh, according to the US government, terrorist attack its country. And um, when when I, I, I was recently uh, watching a BBC documentary yes. called uh, Darwin is Dangerous Ideas, Yes. And I was surprised that uh, Adnan Oktar or brother Harun Yahya 
says that uh, 9-11 terrorists mm -hmm. were actually Darwinists. Not, not, yes. not, not the, the people that we thought are. Yes, yes, And um, yes, yes, yes. I, 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 have a, I have a problem. In this American theory, all the two are, are totally different. You know, 9-11, then Darwinism, you know, you can't imagine this happening. Would you like to please uh, 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 expand on this? What is the connection? Yes, uh, it's very important to clarify this uh, important fact that <clears throat> any people, when he kills one person, one innocent person, is totally against religion. Any kind of divine religion is against killing innocent people. Period. And if you kill yourself, if you commit suicide, it's again against religion. Any divine religion is against this. According to Islam, if you commit suicide, then you deserve... Uh, It's as if you killed whole humanity, according to one verse in the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And if you save one person to life, then it is as if you uh, you uh, you get uh, you get save the whole humanity, according to one verse. So, any kind of terrorist attack, killing innocent people, if just a single child, child single child is being killed it's totally against it cannot be defined as war it's totally against the essence of religion even those terrorists that uh, they carry whether they carry uh, Muslim identities or Christian identities or Jewish identities that, that cannot be named to be Islamic terrorism Jewish terrorism or Christian terrorism because any divine religion is against such terrorist attacks so uh, it's for sure that religion commands love mercy compassion in between people and nations there is no way to kill innocent people it's, there is no it's haram to drop a single bomb which will cause innocent people to die so 9-11 attacks we condemn them we condemn any kind of terrorist attacks if someone goes and uh, commits suicide by detonating himself to reconcile to reconcile such attacks with any any religion at all okay thank you so much um listeners i would like to remind you that um we are having um dr let me get the name properly dr Sihat muhammad Do jihad Gombi. and uh he is live jihad. from Turkey, yes. Yes. istanbul and um, he is talking to us on behalf of uh, brother Arun Yahya, who is also known as uh, uh, Adnan Oktar. Yes, as representative of Mr. Arun Yahya. Scholar, yes. A very popular Islamic scholar who yes. was once uh, uh, rated as the most influential Muslim in the world by Reuters. Okay. And he one, one other thing and, that uh, I want to add. About, um, the many, many things that um, are happening around the world regarding the uh, the creationism today that is what is um, trying to to talk about but of course um you are free to ask him any question about islam about um anything that is related to islam he will be more than happy to answer that question so let me go back to doctor and uh, ask you my last question before i give you over to my brother mm -hmm. my last question is coming from uh, the teachings of the bible the yes. bible according to the bible they say that uh, it says that the earth is um, believed to be less than six thousand. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, to 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 share with us your views on this. Do you believe it or you don't believe it? According to Islam, according to Quran, as a Muslim, I take Quran as uh, the um, as a real source. So uh, there is no there is no verse that there is. 6,000 years from the time Allah started to create. But there is, yes, days 
which can be uh, explained to be time periods. It's that will cause uh, day and night, which will cause, uh, which will uh, lead to the formation of the days. Before the formation of the days, Allah starts creating. So, and Allah is beyond time. So, from the very moment that Allah started to create, and as we know it from the Big Bang, there's a big explosion which started the uh, creation of the whole universe, the galaxies, the stars, the plan planets. Uh, uh, 14 billion years ago, there was a huge explosion which caused these galaxies to form immediately. That's why it's called to be an explosion from nothingness. From the point before that point of creation, there there was there was no time, no volume, no density, uh, no weight. That means nothingness. And Allah created them, the, the whole universe, all of a sudden. So, all right. so we can, we, uh, uh, these scientific findings, the theory of Big Bang is not in contradiction with Allah's telling us that uh, six days, but this can be tell, this can be explained in time periods for sure, not in days. It's obvious that uh, day, by meaning days, it is period, uh, periods are being told. Thank you so much, Doctor. I would like to now <coughs> hand you over to Brother Swaib Kagwa is with me in the studio, and uh, he has been listening to you very carefully, and yes. he has uh, some issues here with you. All right. Thank you, Brother. Uh, Sheikh Hassan, how much in terms of uh, Karunia making it in the Western world? Because when you hear him, he is the loudest, <laughs> the loudest voice. I mean, the, the, the first step sounds as this is derogatory. I wonder whether there is any debate is, you know, uh, creating the West who will be still not giving any attention to this kind of debate. Mm -hmm or whether they contain something or not, what they are giving time to discuss. Uh, uh, because uh, when, when, maybe could, if somebody could refer it to the Falcon, when somebody mentioned about the Falcon, and maybe uh, I try to now fix right mm. now. Uh, Excuse me, I cannot hear. I cannot hear. It's now very. Can I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to make, let him finish. Uh, okay. For listeners, then I'm going to make it clear to you. Okay. Okay, you're not yeah. Yeah. Uh, could, could I speak louder? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> oh, thank you, brother Sehat, yes. uh, for that, that, that enlightenment. Let, 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 let the brother come, come near the microphone so that you can hear him properly, doctor. Yes. Listen to you uh, live all the way from Istanbul, yes. uh, Turkey. Yes. And I was just wondering whether this kind of debate is uh, accorded uh, worthwhile attention in the West because when we hear Brother Harun's writing described as the loudest in the world, it's as if there's no debate uh, given to this. Uh, maybe they are equating it to the Holocaust because if somebody denounces Holocaust the way Brother Yahya Harun is denouncing uh, Downism, they are not given space, they take it not, not uh, worth something to debate about. How do you get that, regard that? Excuse me, you ask about... You ask about uh, could you please uh, summarize the, the it? In the West, given this kind of debate, uh, down the room? Yes. 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 Uh, uh, to what extent? What extent you mean? What extent you mean? Yes. Uh, we define. What, uh, are they uh, considering it a worthwhile debate in the West? First of all, we go to the universities and we we make debate. We do not debate it because it's uh, these are 
obviously scientific facts, and then we tell about the truths uh, in the universities, in the campuses, in front of the professors of, from different fields. Uh, so they uh, they do not even confront us, because if Darwinism was true, then they have to bring us uh, bring us uh, transitional forms, which would link one species to another. They cannot do this. They cannot, do they cannot even bring cannot just a single bring example of a transitional form, a transitional fossil, which will link one species to another. Or they cannot show the origin of life to, to appear on Earth by chances. Just, they cannot show us the formation of a protein, just a single protein, out of the blue, just by chance, even by the help of professors uh, for years in the in the most advanced laboratories they cannot show the emergence of a protein from inorganic matter they cannot form such an amino acid chain and then form it into a three dimensional form and a working protein would appear is not possible so they cannot show the origin of life they cannot show how one species to change into another Okay, okay. Uh, uh, second, and my last one, uh, the ideas uh, regarding f uh, fundamentalism, terrorism, and radicalism. You get me? Yes. yes. The ideas regarding fundamentalism, terrorism, and, and, and uh, radicalism. Yes. Uh, uh, do you think they are real, real, uh, real occurrences or they are just uh, uh, artificial creations? Sorry, would you please repeat that? Okay, uh, okay. brother, he's saying that um, the, the, the issues of uh, um, extremism, fundamentalism, terrorism. Yes. Uh, he's, saying, he's asking whether you think they are creation of uh, the West or they are real. Uh, please let me tell about how Darwinism uh, causes terrorism. We have the uh, we have the uh, explanations from Marx, for example. He defined violence as a constructive force, which would help human progress. Uh, so conflict is the motivating force according to communism, and the dialectical method adopt adopted by Marx and Engels is the same as Darwin's. That's why Karl Marx set out the link between Darwinism and communi communism uh, as follows. He said, Darwin's work is most important and suits my purpose in that it provides a basis in natural science for the historical class struggle. Or Lenin said, the whole theory of Marx is an application of the theory of evolution. In its most consistent, complete, well-considered and fruitful form, to modern capitalism. Or another quote from Marx, he said, this is the book. When he writes, uh, he, he, he showed his, uh, he, wrote, he wrote his thoughts about the uh, uh, of evolution book by Charles Sun. he said, this is the book that contains the natural history foundation of our viewpoint. Chinese communist dictator Mao, who slaughtered mass masses of people, he said, he openly said, Chinese socialism is based on Darwin and his said there are three things that we do to disabuse the minds of our seminary students. We had to teach them the age of the earth, the geologic origin, and Darwin's teachings. Hitler, he said in his book Mein Kampf, Mein Kampf means my struggle. He was inspired by Darwin's struggle for survival and the principle that victory went to the fittest. He said, uh, take away the Nordic Germans, nothing remains but, but the dance of apes. So he was inspired by the struggle between the races. He was a racist. He was defining the uh, superiority of the Western, Western uh, white, white people to the others, to, uh, to Negroes, to uh, black African people, to Turkish people, to Romans and most uh, to aborigines and many other people. So this caused much of the conflict in between people. So they, uh, Dar because Darwin legitimized the class struggle and uh, this 
uh, conflict in between people to be to be uh, true and such ideologies such leaders took it as a basis foundation for their uh, evil evil uh, thoughts doctor i i have a brother muhammad kibuka with uh, another special for you please yes thank you brother Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, uh, I have a simple question here. Um, just talking about your debates and your lectures, mm -hmm. uh, together with uh, Dr. Haya. My simple question is, uh, Islam is uh, taken to be philosophical. Much as it is philosophical, Islam proves itself to be in line with science. For many issues in the world, Islam is in agreement with the scientific explanations. Take an example, the issue of embryonic development. Yes. And many... Islam as well agrees. Now the question is, what scientific explanation does Islam give to the evolution of this earth and man? Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you very much, brother. First of all, there is no evolution in the Quran. Allah says, be and then they, they are. So Allah creates in such manner. And when we look at the fossil record, the field of paleontology, the fossil science, we see that the species appear abruptly with their fully formed complex body systems and structures. All of a sudden, just as it is being told in the Quran to be B, then they are. So science is at, at our side. And that Atlas of Creation by Harun Yahya shows how there's 350 million fossils, fossil specimens, which we can observe species, they appear abruptly and uh, with their complete body structures and they appear still. They stand still. They do not change their tenure. They do not change. They do not transform into another form during, during their tenure on Earth. And uh, that's why the fossil science is only being used by creationists. No Darwinist will use will, will use the fossils to uh, a, in a, in such a debate against creationism because fossils are on our side. Thank you so much, Doctor, for those answers. I am uh, afraid time is not on our side. We uh, come to the end of the minutes that we had with you, and I would like to ask you to. Uh, use uh, probably one minute to say your last word so that we can uh, get back to the Ugandan listeners and mm -hmm. they also have their say. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Inshallah, uh, uh, brothers, and brothers and sisters, Allah's creation is for real. It's a scientific fact. Uh, for example, uh, we have three questions for evolutionists to answer. First, they have to show how a single cell would appear out of the blue, just by chance, by evolution. They, they cannot show it, because there is huge complexity within a cell. The mitochondria, the nucleus, and the DNA within it, the membrane, or a endoplasmic reticulum, the coffles, and every uh, uh, single part of the cell should be there, present, for life to go on. Or we have another question, are there any evolutionary mechanisms on Earth that will cause one species to evolve to a higher form, will improve that species? No, there is none. Evolutionists claim that there are natural, there is natural selection which will cause one species to evolve, but we see, we know that natural selection has no power to change the DNA. Eliminates, yes, it is there, natural selection, we observe it in nature, but it only eliminates the weak and the, the diseased, the Ill, Ill ones. 
it does not cause a species to evolve to a higher form. Then that was why evolutionists later on in 1940s they started to use the uh, the, uh, the the word mutations, and they claimed that mutations improved the DNA. But we observe, we see that uh, no mutations has only defective effect in the G DNA. It does not add brand new new information to the DNA. It does not add brand new genes that will define new organs and systems that would improve such such a species to it will uh, have the ability to fly. So there is no mechanism to make one species to uh, get improved to evolve, and there is no any fossil evidence for the species on Earth to to have been evolved from one another. There is no such a single uh, specimen in the fossil record that will uh, that will show us that there is evolution from one another one to another. But there are at least 350 million fossil specimens which prove us that species stand. Thank you so much, Dr. for the time. You are uh, on Radio Brad, the Muslim radio station in Uganda. We are going to ask you to keep to stay online if you want to. Okay, want I'm to ready. Enjoy the, 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 the last part of the program. But uh, that is all that we had with you, and we thank you so much. Okay, listeners, that was um, Dr. Sihat Muhammad Kondu, live from Turkey, uh, talking to us on behalf of Jihad, oh, yeah, Adnan, uh, an international speaker, an international scholar, and a brother in Islam. Uh, we have uh, uh, assurances uh, from uh, Turkey that. Uh, they, 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 it's okay for us to broadcast some of his speeches on on this radio station. So we shall have an opportunity to have um, uh, Ugandan listeners listen to him through uh, radio class. We shall get his uh, speeches and we shall have you. That is all we had for. And uh, of course, we shall be having more and more interactions with uh, them as we go on. So back to Uganda. Listen, as if you have any comment on uh, Dr. Sihati's presentation, you are free to comment. You are free to ask a question. We shall forward it to him, and uh, in the next uh, uh, interruption, perhaps, inshallah, he can answer it, or uh, he can answer it through uh, email, wherever we shall find the uh, suit him. Uh, but for now, Brother Kibuka, Brother Said Kabwa. We have 10 minutes to go, and uh, there are issues in Uganda that we'd like to, to, to sort out. As you know, this is a program of peace, so we need to talk peace. And uh, in the last program, I said that sometimes if you want to, 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 if you want to become a, a, a good peace activist, you have to call things by their right name. If it is killing, you should call it killing. Don't say, don't, don't beat about the bush. If someone has done something wrong, Blame them. If you need to, to declare war in the name of peace, declare it because you are fighting for peace. This, this is being a good uh, perspective. That's what I thought. You need to be tough sometimes to, 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 to make peace effective. That's what I say, and that's what I stand by. Now, we are not going to talk about everything. To, 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 to get uh, um, your good advice about. One is um, the fact that the University of Material is not yet open. Maybe it was open today, I, I don't know, but I, I, by the time I came on it, it was not open. The University of Uganda, the National University, the biggest university. This is, this is bad for peace. Now, that's one issue. The second issue is uh, about uh, the state of the, 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 the nation, the state of the, uh, of the country. Economically, the country is uh, not doing very well. And uh, the people we are supposed to look at, they are denying it. They are not, they are, we are not to blame. 
the people who we think are responsible are saying we are not to blame. They are denying their responsibility. They are they're saying that uh, we, we should blame the others who are not even in power. So, they went forward this time. <laughs> they're not blaming. What is the way forward? Brother Kivuka, you are an educationist, so you are going to comment on the issue of Makai University. Why on earth? Where are the future leaders now? If the, the university that is supposed to manufacture them is closed. Uh, the issue of material not yet uh, being open is a critical one. We all pray that uh, we open it tomorrow as, as it has been uh, already agreed. Uh, I have one thing in mind, which uh, I think before even we look at the future, Sorry. we need to look at. That is the history. The history tells us that um, when people overstate their time, they become sort of good ideas. What results will be that many things in the process will become stagnant. And as people will fight, get them moved. Because things are stagnant and people want them moved. Yes. So, regimes will change time. Yes. Previous regimes have proved that uh, when a regime was becoming unpopular or was going to change hands, people already struggle. I'm not really asking uh, to get in politics. But yes. I'm talking about the past. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you will see that during an interview, when things working, all sectors almost went to strike, including Makerere, including many other groups. The question is now, we are not looking at Makerere only as a, an institution, but many institutions have gone on strike. There is a core problem which we need to address, not only that uh, maybe the people who are living have overstayed and they need relief. They need to get rest because everything that is created in this world does what we call depreciation. Thank you so much. Even that, Thank you so much, Dr. Tibo. <laughs> <laughs> depreciation, yes. Uh, I think um, you have a point. I agree with you on the issue of saying that uh, it's not as small as the closing or paying the lecturers at Makerere. It's bigger than that. Yes. That's, uh, that. That's how serious it is. And um, so you have about uh, about the same time, about three minutes or so to tell us your views on the, the, the state of the economy in Uganda. Please don't talk politics. Where forward? How do we get out of this mess? This is a crisis. We have got solutions. We are in the opposition. We are at, uh, we are trying uh, to be uh, the government in waiting. Mm. I think it's high time we got the government in waiting to see what it can present for the mm. on the president. They are uh, it's wrong. There are actual voices now speaking on parliament. Mm. There are real voices there. Yeah? Uh, unfortunately, there are few. And you're going to take long, take long to see uh, uh, light where it is. <laughs> That's the unfortunate bit. Of that is not fair. Yes. Ugandans do not take long. I think Ugandans are patient people. They always give people opportunities to reform. And when you don't, then they, they, they would, I, I know, uh, one day they will, they, they will push back. You know, it, 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 you are not going to push them forever. Yes. So I think they, uh, they are not just taking long. They are just giving people time to change, to reform. Now, uh, I know mm -hmm. one uh, party, the Justice Forum, that we want to call the program for uh, 2011, mm -hmm. 2016. I just hope and appeal to uh, people to uh, find time and and good solutions, not only economic solutions to the country, but also uh, social and political. 
Okay. Uh, I, I was thinking about the voice that's speaking in front of you. We are progressive voices. I appreciate that. And uh, some of them are even from the polling survey and some of them. Our only worry is that we are going to shoot two very Okay. Uh, because we are about 10, 20 who are joining the opposition, and when you add up the number, it's just less than 100. The House is uh, 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 comprised of 300 some people. Okay. Now, the rest of the 200, they are not uh, providing solutions, good solutions to this country. Okay. Uh, they are just still yes men, yes women, which is a very big problem okay. for our country. We just hope, uh, I want to tell you that uh, there are this kind of there was the Soviet Union, you remember, it collapsed in 1991. Okay. And it has President the man who initiated the socialism and uh, uh, socialism and uh, what is the political socialism? Uh, Vladimir. Communism is right. Yes, communism and socialism. Yeah. That man who initiated it. He built confinement, prisons for people who would oppose his ideas. Okay? So he built a number of things. And whenever you would, uh, when it came, okay, for him he died, and he was succeeded by the rest in his party who believed in his ideas. Yeah. One of them was uh, uh, Brazinov, Bra Brazinov. So Brazinov arrested so many people who opposed the socialism and, and, and those ideas. Okay? The same thing is happening here. When people uh, come up, stand up to oppose some of these ideas, these bad policies, Economic policy. They are just threatening with sacking from the sacking. They are going to do this. And I mean, in the, in the old the Soviet Union, they used to be put in prison. The official voice, the official position, of course, is mad man. There's not even inquiry. So, in the current time, current day of today in Uganda, they are just threatening with no sacking from the sacking. I mean, it's the, almost the, the, the human of being arrested. So we are telling the Ghana, mm -hmm. and these ones who are being taken by that means that we room, we room <laughs> these other uh, organizations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. And we ask the Ghana, please, our country needs a revolution. Some general <laughs> have been called a saying that Ghana needs another revolution. Indeed, that. And you have the ideas that provide for the country. Thank you so much, Brother Said Kabua. Today you have spoken like a peace activist. No incitement, no political statement. I think um, uh, it's true that um, the, 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 the country needs a revolution. There's no doubt about that. And um, it's, it's, it's the issue that we should, we should consider working on. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. The presenter of the next program is in the studio. And uh, I would like to thank listeners in Uganda and in Turkey for joining us today. We are international. I would like to specifically thank Dr. Finhart for giving us an insight on uh, his um, uh, uh, work. And uh, today I am ending the program knowing that um, Darwinism is against Islam, as the doctor told us. We should not believe it. We should stick to the Holy Quran, because that is where he was quoting from when he was making his uh, submission. So to hell with Darwinism. And um, uh, thumbs up for Islam. And thumbs up for Dr. Sihat in Turkey and uh, brother um, Arun Yahya for those uh, works. We wish them the very best. And as I said, we shall keep uh, having them on this program whenever we have them. And um, with those, I would like to stop here. Sam Kabwa, thank you for coming. Brother Dr. Kibuka, thank you for coming from Top Times High School, Chengela. It's a secondary school. It's a mix, huh? Yes. With sciences and uh, whatever. Oh. So we can bring our children. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Is there I, I, I had there. So uh, that's wonderful, Doctor. Keep up the talk time, and uh, I can also keep up the piece that you have learned to talk. I have been Umar Musala, and uh, until we meet next week, inshallah, 
I thank you, thank very, you. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.